This Hi, I'm Paul Begley. Isn't this BP oil spill just driving you insane? 70 days. There's a 32-mile wide plume that's headed for the coast of Louisiana. It's going to hit there in about 14 to 16 hours. It's unbelievable. The hurricane is swirling down there in the, in the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. But fortunately, it looks like this Hurricane Alex is going to skip on by to the west, kind of head toward the Texas uh, coast, and not go directly into this oil slick that would stir everything up and destroy everything. But we know one's coming. But here's the situation. Meanwhile, there's a 32-mile, 32-mile plume that's and several miles wide that's inching toward the shores of Louisiana. It's going to come ashore. And you know what's going to happen is when that hurricane cuts across there toward the Texas, it's going to, the rippling effect, it's going to send those waves. And then waves are just going to work and work and work and push that plume on into the coast of Louisiana. And we're talking, about, and it's thick and gooey and globby and just death is in it. Dead fish, dead dolphins, uh, dead birds, the shrimp, the oyster, everything. Oh my God, it's a stench of death. And no wonder Bobby Jindal is standing there right now with his hands on his hip and his life jacket on and he's staring with, he's sitting there next to Kevin Costner and they got that little shop back going, trying to suck up all the oil. But people, it's 70 days in and the earliest that anybody thinks that the two relief wells will work is in mid-August. And I'm going to tell you right now, that ain't going to happen. You got the hurricane season. Every time that happens, they got to shut up. They got to shut down the operation for 14 days. Anytime there's any kind of significant threat toward that deep water horizon relief well drilling, so people, it's going to be past Labor Day, looking more like mid September, maybe even as late late September. There's going to be so many millions and millions, probably another 200 million gallons of oil that's going to spew into the Gulf of Mexico. It's horrible. And I'm just I feel so sorry for you people down there on the on the coast. I feel so sorry for you people all along the Gulf Coast. In Louisiana, just brace yourself. Don't breathe in the fumes from the smell of this thing. It's horrible. It could kill you. I'm Paul Begley reporting.